everybody. Happy Monday. I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. And Michael, I'm going to send you inside to get my iPad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to bring it out today so I can't see the comments. Um, so until I get my iPad, I will totally rely on Jacob. Anyway, we are going to make some fun spring hair bows. I'm going to ask you guys um, to join our Bodabra fan gallery. And I'm going to start by making a super, super simple bow for a wreath. So I'm taking my Bodabra bow wire, folding it in half, and laying it down into my Bodabra. Also, we have our new Bodabra ribbons, and we are going to give away a free roll. These are 10 yards by one and a half inches wide. They're wonderful ribbon, and I'm so excited. So today on our live, all you have to do is say, Michelle I want Anderson to- Michelle Anderson says, hello, Sandy. Michelle, hi, thank you for joining me. Um, and so um, anyway, we were, we're going to scrunch this ribbon down in here, and I believe these are four inches wide by 18 inches long. Edie Alvarez Bowe says hello. Hi! Um, whoops, okay. Let's do my two, last number's two, Mike. Scarlett Mike. H. Long says, hi, Sandy. I hope you're doing well this afternoon. Hi, Scarlett. I'm doing awesome. So now I'm just going to take this ribbon here, which is 25 inches long and one and a half inches wide. This is also one of our new Bodabra ribbons. Unfortunately, we had a problem with the website, so we don't have them everything up, but we will definitely get, we've got a whole bunch of new ribbons up on the site, but we're going to get even more up tonight. So by tomorrow, we are going to have tons of gorgeous new ribbons and ribbon kits available. So, and this is one of our new ribbons. It's our six inch wide, beautiful mesh ribbon. So it's really pretty. So, oh, Michael, thank you so much. Let's do it that way, that won't fall down. And you guys, please forgive my disorganization. Um, okay, so now, let's scrunch that in. Then this piece is about six inches long. And I'll just scrunch that in. The piece before was about 10 inches. And then I have my beautiful little roses. Just gonna lay those in here and bring it around to the side. And so we have Jenny, thank you so much for sharing. And Addie, thank you for saying hi. And you guys, please, last week, oh my God, you guys shared so many videos. And we had like, by the end of it, we had over a thousand likes. And I would really, if you guys could definitely share today, that would be amazing. And definitely say you want to win. So now, I'm gonna just pull all this out here. And isn't that pretty? And you could literally just tie that onto a wreath. So we just ordered a whole bunch of new wreath stands in um, because I didn't have any. So, thank hi Edna and Jenny, thank you. So now I'm gonna put that bow aside. Jimmy Adams says those are very gorgeous ribbons. Thank you, I really am so happy. Michael, I have to give a lot of credit to Michael. He really helped me to um, find my ribbons. I'm having trouble with this. Okay, so now Edna we're- Edna Patrick says I love that blue ribbon. Thank you, Edna, me too. And Edna, can you see how I glitter? Isn't that cool? Oh, you guys, for anybody who watched my live that said I can't paint, this was, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm laughing at it. I think, is that right side up? I don't even know if it's right side up or upside down. So this was my painting I did the other night. And you're talking about someone who does never only painted once before, and it was really bad. So I just thought I'd share my masterpiece with all of you guys who were so kind to join me last week. So now I'm gonna probably have to give up on my, I'm trying to figure this out, you guys. I'm having trouble with my live on my Facebook. Can you put that in pages for me maybe, Michael? It's in pages. It is, then how, can you get it so it goes sideways for me? Gosh, it's so good I have extra help today, you guys. I'm like, okay, I need to sit back and take a breath. So now we are gonna start on an awesome, awesome wreath bow. And this is a wreath that Michael designed. And so now I'm gonna start. Christy Dugan says, hi there, Sam. Christy, hi! So are you all caught up after being in Dallas, Christy? I'll show it that way. Okay, thanks, Michael. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pull, pull that out. And it's four inches wide, and these are 27 inches. And I've already dovetailed the end. So if you're not, if you haven't dovetailed before, you're just gonna take it and cut your end at a diagonal from the corner up to the fold, or vice versa. 
So now I'm just gonna scrunch, fold it in half and scrunch it down into my bodabra. Then I have another piece of this blue ribbon, which I just love, and we don't have it up in our store yet, but it'll be up there tonight. 36, so it's like one yard, one and three eighths of a yard. So I'm just gonna put the right side down and fold it back and bring it back over here and scrunch it down in here. Manon, thank you so much for watching and you did join me the other day. Hey, Christy, I know. Christy's saying not even close from recuperating from her trip to Dallas. I get it because I was exhausted. So this is 22 and a half inches by two and a half inches wide and this is one of our beautiful ribbons that will come in our spring ribbon kit that you'll be able to buy. So now this is 42 inches and I'm gonna put the right side down, bring it back around and again put the right side down and then go to the center and just scrunch it in. And then I'm gonna take another um, piece that is, this one is 21 inches and I've already dovetailed this. I'll put that down in here and so please, you guys, I really appreciate, oh my gosh, Jeannie, thank you so much for sharing 40 and a half inches, and it's two and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna take the right side of my ribbon, I'm gonna put that down in here. And thank you, Michelle. I was proud of it. It was better than my last one, which was really bad. And it was so bad, and then she's talking about my painting. I forget sometimes that if you're watching a replay of this, you can't know what the conversations are because you can't see the comments. So Brenda, thank you. So now I've got 18 and a half inches by two and a half inches. And again, I've dovetailed the ends and then lay that in here. And then we've got this piece that's 35 inches. So I'm gonna take the right side, put it down and Oh my gosh, Brenda, thank you so much. And is your mom, is your mom here or did your mom um, tell you about it? So now I'm gonna lay this in here and let's take this. And we've got 17 inches here and just gonna lay that down in the center. So you can see this is becoming an extremely colorful spring Lisa bow. Lisa wants to know if there's a link to the Bodabra store. It's at bodabra.com. So there's 32 inches, and I don't see Bodabra on, oh, I do. Okay, Terry will give you a link. So it's at bodabra.com, and all of our beautiful, you know what, I told you guys, I already forgot how much this was, um, 31 inches. So I'm gonna bring this, take the right side, put it down, bring it back around, and put the right side down, and Yes, you guys, thank you so much for sharing. Um, I really appreciate it. So now I have some more of my pink ribbon and this is 13 inches and I've already dovetailed it. So you can see how these beautiful spring colors go together so well. Um, and then I have 23 and a half inches. I'm gonna take my right side, put that down, bring it back around. So this just makes a gorgeous, it's a great technique for a wreath bow. And I really love these spring ribbons and the kit that we have will include all of them. So we have nine inches by two and a half inches. And put the wrong side down this time and come back over here. And this one I've got, oh Manu, thank you for sharing. And Dee, thank you so much for sharing. And don't forget, okay, let's see, 19 inches. Yeah, this would be great. Oh, Gail, of course, Gail says she loves the purple. And I'm sure she does, because Gail loves purple. So we're gonna come back over here, and then we're gonna take this piece here, which is only six inches, lay that down in here. So you can see we're just graduating the sizes in. And then this one is 10 inches, and I'm gonna scrunch this down. Oh, thanks you guys so much for sharing. Hi Brandy, thanks for joining me and I'm gonna scrunch all that in. Then I have this last little piece, which is four and a half inches. I'm gonna lay that down in here, and then take this piece, which is four inches. So you can see these are great spring, great for, someone had mentioned earlier Easter. And yes, the ribbons that we're gonna give away tonight, one roll, they're just so pretty. 
and then I'm just gonna lay my flower down the center. As you guys can see, we're totally filling up the bodabra here. Um, and scrunch it all down. Didn't really want to scrunch, so we're gonna have to shape this one a little bit before we move forward. So I'm gonna pull that through, pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra, and I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and let's tie it really tight. And then what I'm gonna do here is shape it. So I'm just gonna shape it by bringing all my tails like down, kind of bring the ribbons and kind of move opposite directions here. You can see it's just, that's the kind of the trick is using like a wired ribbon because wired ribbon will let you shape and fix your loops however you want them. So there we have that. So super, super simple. Then what we've done, we're not done yet, is I have this green that we're really upcycling this. And what we've got here, we have a whole bunch of pieces that are just sort of stuck into this wreath. Like literally just, just thrown in. And then I'm gonna take this bow and I'm going to find my wire in the back of it. And all I'm gonna do is just tie it onto my wreath. So all I'm doing here is just taking the wire and tying it on. Whoopsie daisy. And all, like literally all of these picks are just like stuck in, in different places in the wreath. Whoopsie daisy, there we go. So you can just put all of your little picks in and shape it all out. And I'll bring this pick up here. And now you have this just super simple bow. Oh, I love the lights. Thank you, Jenny. I love the purple check too. I think they're so, or the turquoise check. I think it's so pretty. So now I'm going to put this aside. And so, I mean, is that so simple to make a spring wreath? And the bow is super simple to make. So now, we have another wreath bow that we are going to make. Now this one is big. So this is the Michael, I wanted to see how much you could fit in the Bodabra bow. So now I'm gonna take some of my gold Bodabra bow wire. Thank you, Addy. You guys, thank you so much for sharing. I really, really appreciate it. So I have no idea what happened here, there we go. So I'm gonna fold my wire in half and I'm gonna take a little extra wire because this bow is a really big bow. Jenny just asked her the check's available on the store. It will be by tomorrow morning, I promise. It's just not available right now. And it'll come in a whole kit with all the spring colors, if that's what you want. So now I'm just gonna take, I've got two yards of, I believe this is a 18 inch, yeah, it's an 18 inch wide mesh. And all I'm gonna do, is just make a big bow here. I'll bring this back and just kind of fold it back and forth. So like, the, I love the mesh because we have a lot of wreath makers that use the bow dabber just to hold their mesh, um, to put it together and tie it off before they put it on their wreath. Because the mesh, I love the mesh because it's so inexpensive, but it has, a, like, it looks so pretty. So now we have our loops, and then I'm gonna take these absolutely gorgeous picks from Catherine's collection, and I'm just gonna lay these in here, and let's just put that in there. And then take this one and lay this in here, and this is so big, I've gotta move everything on my table. <laughs> so let's see here. And then we have these two more beautiful picks from Catherine's collection. And we're just kind of laying everything a little bit at an angle so it all fits in and you can see everything. And then I'm gonna put these three, now these are uh, just some peonies that, that I had purchased for, Bo, for Bodabra. And lay that in here. Put this one going this way, that one going that way. And this is what's so cool with Bodabra is you can just put so much stuff 
And you know, that's I, the mini and the big one work exactly the same way. Someone said they have the mini Bodabra and love it. And so now we have this absolutely stunning Catherine's Collection ribbon. I mean, you guys, these ribbons are incredible. And they're even like lined, so beautiful. I love the Catherine's Collection. So now we're just gonna fold it and we're just gonna make loops. And this is a wired ribbon. So we're just going to loop it. So this is just how we make a regular bow. I fold it, then I twist it, then scrunch it into the bodabra. And I always, the reason that we fold it is we wanna make sure that the right side of our ribbon is on the outside of the loops and the wrong side is on the inside. Even though with the Catherine's ribbon, the inside is so beautiful too. <laughs> I hate to call it the wrong side. Michael's sitting here shaking his head, yes. <laughs> and then now I'm just gonna bring this around here and make a littler loop there. And take my, I try to scrunch this all in, but something tells me it's probably not gonna scrunch much because we pretty much have about as much as we could possibly fit in the Bodabra. So I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna grab my wire and Grab the other side of my wire. And now I have my slip knot, so I'm just gonna pull the wire through my slip knot, pull it really tight while it's still in the bodabra, and pull it out. Then I'm gonna separate my ends and bring it around to the back. Whoops. And then I'm just going to Tie knot. This is a really big bow, but you can see how like totally quick that was to make in the bodabra, which is what I love about it, is you can put as much in it or as little. Um, and now I'm just going to fold Ed, this up Edna here. Patrick says, what is says, beautiful ribbon. Oh, Edna, thank I know. This ribbon is absolutely stunning. We don't have any Catherine's collection in our store yet, but we will. Um, so, and Addie, thank you so much for sharing. So now I'm gonna just kind of bring all of these around just so you can see. And I'm gonna take the ends of this because this is really a, just a beaut, the whole pick is gorgeous. So we wanna make sure that you can see everything in here. So we're just gonna shape everything out. Whoops, I'm just losing it here. And let's see what we've got here. So we're just gonna shape it all. And now you have this absolutely stunning wreath that you could, you can tie this onto a wreath or you could just make it as a huge doorbell. So it's almost a wreath in itself. So Michael's looking at it. Did I shape it the way you would like me to shape it, Michael? <laughs> Michael's the designer, and it, it's like he's so. Let me see if I make sure I have this up there the way. I, it's so hard for me to make sure that the camera gets it right. I got a thumbs up from Michael, so I guess that's a good thing. Lots of beautiful wows. Oh, you guys, thank you. So I mean, just I'll tell you, really, with just the ribbon and the picks, I don't even have to do anything because this comes out so gorgeous. Because this Catherine's collection, oh my gosh, their stuff is incredible. So now I'm going to take this and just kind of put it aside. Oh, I know, Jenny. I'm getting ready for Christmas, too. It's, like, so awesome. And now I've got one more somewhere. Oh, here it is. Now we have another gigantic bow. Thank you, Michael. And this one, we use some of our Bodabra ribbon, but we're also using some more Catherine's Collection ribbon. So, but I just love doing these. And then next week, is next week April 1st already? I think we're going to be doing um, some puppy bows. So that's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to start by taking these absolutely gorgeous if I can take them apart here I'm getting caught up because there's so many pieces on here Minna says wow Sandy this is so beautiful it would sell easily congratulations oh my no I know this stuff is so gorgeous and I think it will the Catherine stuff I can't even imagine that it wouldn't sell but now I'm just kind of pulling everything out of here because we've got 
another really big one that we're going to make Marie here. Marine and Sunny Bush say gorgeous. So now I'm going to just take these big I'll huge picks. I'll ask again, what is the name of that ribbon? Um, the Catherine's Collection ribbon? Yes. It's Catherine's Collection. And if you just go to their, they have a fan page. And I think um, Terry will probably put a link up to it. So I'm going to lay these in here. And put it there. And, oh my gosh, we're going to have a winner soon. And you're going to win one of our beautiful rolls of our new Bodabra ribbon. And lay this down in here. And then I've got, um, this is our Bodabra ribbon. And it's 4 inches by 39 inches. And again, I have to take my right side and put that upside down in here. Bring it back around. I just, this ribbon is so pretty. And bring it back around and scrunch it in. But you can see there's a lot of glitter that you get to have everywhere. Um, and then now, I think it's this, this is the same length. Yeah, it's 39 inches and it's four inches wide. And I'm just gonna scrunch that in. And this is a wired ribbon. Now we're gonna scrunch it down. Brandy, thank you. I know they are really beautiful, beautiful picks. And then now we're going to take our bow dabber. These are our lights that we are in our store, which I'm so excited. And I'm just going to lay these in here. Just kind of separate them. These are really cool because you can separate the wires and work these into any of your wreaths or designs. And the light bulb thing is, I mean, the battery is very lightweight. So now, another piece, this is another piece of Catherine's ribbon, it's, uh, 41 inches, and it's a four inch wide ribbon. And I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, Michael, oh, 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 I got, Michael designed this, so let's, I, it, and I should have known it was a tail because it's got, let me just bring these through here. So 49 inches, I'm gonna lay this down in here. And then I have another tail that is Jenny 14 says, can inches. Can you make hair bows on the large bow dabra or do you have to have a many? No, you can make hair bows on the large bow dabra. Um, it just depends on how little you want your hair bow. You can't make little tiny hair bows. This is 29 inches long. So I'm just going to take the right side of my ribbon, put it down into my bow dabra. Paula and, says, oh, I love those lights also. Oh, the lights are my favorite. I just love them. I was so excited to get them in stock. So now we're gonna scrunch all that down. And then we have one more gorgeous pick from Catherine's collection. But we're just gonna lay in Nebo here. Shelton says, I didn't know this could be done with Bodabra. These are gorgeous. Thank you. I know it, it's, you know, there's so many different ways to use Bodabra. And that's why I do the show every single Monday. The winner was announced as Manon. Oh, Manon, congratulations. So every single Monday we do the live and um, for a half an hour at 4 p.m. Um, Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central and 7 p.m. Eastern. And I do it so that um, you guys have a place to come and see some of the gorgeous things that you can actually do with Bodabra that you might not have thought about. And then you could tie this onto a wreath. And, and this is a tiny little wreath. It's sort of a, a mini wreath. <laughs> but it, at least it gives you guys the idea of what we're doing here. And then what I'm going to do is come back and I'm just going to shape everything and I'll kind of bring this around here, that out to the front and shape everything and bring, I love these picks because you can bend them so I can bring them around and so, um, yes, we do. If you go to Bodabra Today is our YouTube channel. So definitely please sign up and follow, subscribe to our YouTube. And also, if you guys can click the follow button here on Facebook, then you'll be notified every time that we go live. You can see this just shapes in so pretty and so super, super simple. So what do you guys think? Was this a really fun live today? I had so much fun. And I can't wait to show you guys next week. As we'll finish showing you this. 
But yes, please follow us here on Facebook. Please share with your friends and definitely like us on YouTube um, or subscribe to us on YouTube. So now I'm gonna, let's just put this, Jacob's having fun filming. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this aside and next week we're gonna go from the massive to the itty bitty, which means we are gonna be using a lot of the mini bow dabber next week. So we, these, are, these are our cute little pet bows. We have some more cute little pet bows that we will make next week. That like I call them pet bows, but they could actually um, be hair bows. So it's kind of a great little lesson for hair bows and pet bows. And grab some more up here. So it's just really fun, different bows that you can make, which are hair bows, pet bows, fun bows. So. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I can't wait. My known congratulations for winning. I'll get your ribbon out to you, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.